This lady who chose to remain anonymous was part of the 32 passengers who sustained various degrees of injuries when a bus they were traveling in crashed with a tanker truck. Three persons, including a female nurse, died after Wednesday's accident on the Fumiso section of the Kumasi Accra Highway. According to the police report, the driver of the tanker was negotiating a cab to offload gas at a retail outlet when the bus driver lost control, hit a pavement, and ran into the tanker truck. This victim spoke to City News about the incident. I was sitting in the car, so all of a sudden, like, I saw the accidents happen. Like, the driver was a little bit speed, and the driver managed to save us, so we thank God. That's all I can say. And somewhere, like, uh, at the spot, two people lost their life, but I don't know about the rest. But for now, no, we are okay. The injury is not there. It's normal injury. So I don't know. Like, I didn't see all of them, so I can't identify the kind of the injuries that came because of the speed you know. <laughs> and the driver was able to stop the car at the right time so that's what I'm saying and at times you no, know, when uh, those incidents uh, happen even the driver can uh, like he can try to save himself than saving the passengers but this one the driver they didn't think of that. Like me myself, you know, I jump. I jump from the car because of the gas you know, leakage. You know, so I jump from the car, and people try to jump. So uh, normally our legs. Uh -huh. When you saw that it involved um, a gas tanker, uh, what was running through your mind? Hey, <laughs> hey, it's serious, oh. ah, but if it were you are. <laughs> Like you would think that all of you are going to die, so you will run for your life. So we are trying to save ourselves. Mm, and but how do you feel now? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. A little pain, but I'm okay. Officials at the Living Waters Hospital say about 13 of the injured victims were brought here and the majority of them have been treated and discharged. Yes, I think uh, on the Ross call we had about um, 13 people coming in to our emergency department. Yeah. What were the conditions? Um, we had a few of them with lacerations and bruises and so... We had to do a few scans here and there to really determine the extent. And then um, we have a specialist uh, emergency physician around. So she also did her job. And then I think so far so good. Most of them have been discharged to go and continue their treatment because they were in a transit. They had to go wherever they are going and then continue. As it stands now, um, we have less than 5% of them still on admission. Other victims who were also sent to the Ejisu and Jabin government hospitals have been treated and discharged. Police are, however, continuing investigations into the accident. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumasi.